Hi! How oh, it's really good to see you. Yeah, yeah, please. <laughs> Come on in. Shut the door. Let that don't let that wind in. <laughs> You're right, it has been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that you have returned safely from all of your adventures of late. Sorry I haven't been, you know, more in the tavern or hanging out around town that often. <laughs> I um I've been pretty busy out here with Farron. There's all kinds of things we need to do with winter looming on the horizon. Different plants we need to forage that we can't find once it starts to snow. You know, preparing different poultices and tinctures people might need if they get sick or, you know, that kind of stuff. So, definitely keeps us busy. But it's good work, though. I love it out here. Oh, this? <laughs> well, right now it's just a rock. <laughs> I've been, um, I've been trying to get a head start on my gift for the Winter Solstice Festival this year. Promise you won't tell anyone? Okay, I guess it's, I mean, not everything is a total secret, but just don't tell anybody else. I've been working on creating some worry stones for everybody in Whisperwind. It's just a little stone that you, um, you smooth it out, and you polish it, and then you just, you keep it in your pocket, and it's something that you can kind of rub your thumb on when you feel worried or anxious about something, and it kind of just helps take away some of that stress. And also, I got the idea because I found this, this spell of blessing in one of Farron's books. Yeah, I had never come across blessings like that before, but it's it's actually relatively simple to do. So I've been blessing the stones a few at a time as I get them done, just to make sure that they are charged, I think is the word, with lots of positive, soothing energy for people. Yeah. I mean, you know, I guess it's not like a big grandiose gift, or not as clever or fascinating as whatever Isabel's going to give us this year, <laughs> but I thought it would be something meaningful, you know, just kind of help with daily worries, daily life. Well, good, I'm glad you like the idea. <laughs> well, if you wanted to, I could, um, I was actually just about to Bless these four that I just got done. Would you like to watch? I mean, it's okay if not. I guess maybe that's boring to some people. Though. Oh, you want to? Okay, sure. I um, Let me just grab a few things, okay? Like I said, it's a pretty simple process, but you do want to make sure that you do it right. <laughs> we wouldn't want any sort of negative energy getting trapped inside the stones. But yeah, let me, let me grab some stuff and we'll get started, okay? step. It's actually a pretty common first step for a lot of different blessings and rituals. I'm gonna light a candle first. Fire is an important part of quite a few rituals, because not only is it one of the most primal forms of energy, but it also symbolizes 
some people, when they think of fire, they think of destruction, burning, that kind of stuff. But fire also gives us light, gives us heat, warmth. It cooks our food. crucial to life, you could say. So let's get this lit. Before we do a blessing ritual, it's important to make sure that our energies and the energy around us is clear, I suppose. We wouldn't want any lingering negative energy, be that anxiety, doubt, anger, fear, any of that to sort of seep in. So, in order to do that, we're going to start out with burning some incense between you and I, just to help cleanse the space. And while this burns, I want you to think about our intention, what we hope to accomplish what we hope to endow into these items. It's important that our intention is clear. So let that smoke a bit. Soothing the anxieties or worries that plague us every day. As we let the smoke cleanse our energies and the energy in this space. Okay. So we're going to leave this burning, but just place it to the side. smoke will continue to cleanse our space. Set the candle to the side over here. Alright. Let's begin. seem to be much more, I guess, magical in nature. Wood and trees, they are so deeply connected to the earth around us. And it's not surprising that during their lives, they absorb some of this world's natural magic. Quite a lot we can First, we're going to create a 
circle of crystals around the wood, and that will help to cleanse and also channel seen quartz crystals many times by now. There's a good reason for that. Quartz is an incredibly versatile stone, very powerful. It's amazing for cleansing a space, for ridding negative energies, for channeling in positive energies. It's a stone of Awareness, the world around us too. Lots of wonderful uses for quartz. So we'll start our circle with quartz in the directions of the six primal forms of magic. Six different foundations of magic. Now, because our main intention with this blessing sense of peace and calmness. We're also going to be using some amethyst in our circle. It's another very common but very powerful stone. Amethyst is amazing at cleansing the mind of negativity, of attracting, calming, soothing. these in the four cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west. Another 
comes to cleansing negative energy is the power of sage. Now, we've already burned some incense, so we're not going to burn any more sage. But I do have some dried sage here. We're going to grind this up nice and fine and actually sprinkle it absorb any negative energy, both in this space and in the future that these stones may come into contact with. finely ground, but Farron would tell you it's always best to give things just a little extra. It just sort of releases the oils of the plant, any that might still reside in it. We'll give it just that much more. stones, and the wood, and the crystals too. There. It might look a bit silly, but sage is a very, very powerful force. Having it in this fine form will just help to absorb anything that these stones may come into contact with. All right, so now we're almost finished setting up. There's one more thing that we need to add before we're ready to begin. This right here. Another amethyst. I told you it's a very powerful, powerful stone. Now this is an amethyst cluster. You can see the back here where it was cut. One thing I love about crystals is that every single one of them is unique. Even the points that I have around here. Even though they all may be the same stone, they all look just a little bit different, a little bit unique. I love the way that a cluster of crystals catches the light, all the different points, surfaces, glistening. All right, we'll place that at the center. Like I said, the most important part of a simple blessing like this 
So there you have it. Pretty simple, right? Yeah, you know, it's it's not so much about having all of these complicated things that you have to do or say. It's more just making sure that your intentions are strong and pure, you know? Anyway, so I'll give these guys one more cleaning. And then this set should be finished for now. Then I'll have to go, you know, recharge the crystals, make sure that their energy is good too. And I can move on to the next little batch. I mean, I've still got plenty of time. Winter solstice is still almost a whole moon away, so there's plenty of time. Just want to make sure that, you know, I can get a jump start on it to make sure I do a good job. Don't want rushed blessings. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. I'm happy to share what we do out here. You know, not everybody in Whisperwind really cares, but um, it's fun to talk to people who actually are interested in what we're doing. So, yeah, anytime. Anytime you want to come watch whatever it is that happens out here, you're welcome. Well, I guess Farron might not say the same thing. Although, honestly, I think she might mean it, even if she doesn't say it. The more that I've worked for her, the more that I realize that Farron is not this tough, coarse person that everybody thinks she is. She she keeps that sort of as a front on the outside, but there's a lot more to her. She likes your visits. She would never say that, probably. Not in so many words, but I know she does. You know, would you, would you like to have your worries done early? Yeah, no, I, I don't mind. I mean, you got to share in the whole process of it, so maybe that'll make these particular stones a little more meaningful for you. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, if you ever start to feel like, you know, you can't feel that connection to the energy in them, come back and we can, we can bless it again, okay? Yeah, absolutely. It's a withstanding offer. <laughs> as long as you need it, I'm happy to bless your stone. 
or I guess other things for that matter too. Always happy to try. Anyway, here. Happy very early winter solstice. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for bringing some life to this town. Whisperwind was really boring before you showed up. You make it just that much more special. So thanks. Anyway, sorry. You should uh, probably start heading back. It looks like it's going to start getting dark soon. Wouldn't want you to get caught in the forest at after dark. Yeah, okay. Well, um, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll see you in the tavern. I really should start to make it out a little more. I miss Rhea. I miss the stories and the just the general hubbub. <laughs> anyway, thanks for stopping by. It's always good to see you. Until next time.